<laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Cactus Core Plays Until Dawn. My name is Bobby. I'm Kevandre. And uh, we still haven't managed to kill off these fucking kids. Yeah. In I'm, fact, we found one that we thought was already dead. I'm terrible at this game. These little bastards should die already. Yeah. But we ended right on the uh, previously on Until Dawn sort of bit, so we're just going to hit resume here and let it tell the story, because it's better than us. Aha! Are we going to finally see Matt again? Looks like. Emily! Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Uh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. It may have taken him down to the mine. Wait. Don't move. It's impressive it was able to lop off its head with just like one. And then I'm gonna get all the hell out of here. Apparently, me, chopping off limbs is harder than you might think. True. Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. Yep, ragdoll physics. Yeah, he just got G modded down there. Number 10, last chapter. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why are all these bastards still alive? What the fuck? I wonder how much these sessions are of any help to you now. Where's your clown, motherfucker? Listen to me, and things seems pretty. Things seems fucked up. <laughs> so I I'm gonna leave you now, Josh. It's time you learn. There's more to be afraid of that can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat. You had so many people cared about you, who were willing to help, but at every turn you choose to push them away, and now you're all alone. Though by the sounds of things, it won't be long for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Deep That's breaths, right. Josh. Look, man, that's what you get for having fucking Chernabog as your fucking therapist. Yeah. No. 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 Hey, you know this song. Huh? I do. No, no. No, 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 not again. Not again. No. Get away. Get away! Get away from me! No! You're dead! Sorry. You're dead! Shut up! Oh. Uh, no! You're dead! That's not ready. You manipulate. No. You are oh. a power. There, gun. If one is there, then I'll be the new off it. I'll take words from you. You can't you can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. I think I think Josh has a problem. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going. What's up, girl? No. No, 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 no. You're not real. You're all alone down there. No, no. No, 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 not again. I don't know what I'm doing. It's time for some hallucinations. All alone. But you're with us now. Family. Get away from me! Get away! Why didn't you save us, Josh? Why did you want us to die? I didn't want you to die. I swear. And that is... Exactly like the fucking scarecrow shit. Oh. Yeah. No! No! Ah! 
punch that pig in the face. I I don't know what the fuck is going on. Look, man, Josh has a problem. <laughs> I don't take orders from you! No! Is this what you want? No! No! Why are you doing this? Leave me alone! Why are you doing this? Why did you save us, Josh? Why did you want You're us to dead. die? <laughs> Oh, it's hard to believe that. And that's why you don't play with the Ouija board, kids. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a miner. Maybe someone who worked in the sanatorium. There was so much weird shit. Your dad has a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> what kind of weird shit? Someone was capturing the Wendigos. Had them all tied up in these restraints. I saw some real fucked up shit. Wow. I must have just let them all out when I blew the place up. Huh. Smooth move. Great job, Mike. Smooth move, McGroove. Yeah. Smooth McGroove wouldn't make a stupid decision like Mike has made this entire game. That's true. Smooth McGroove is better than that. That's right. Oh, hello. And he's got the boss. Is this a death totem? <laughs> Fortune totem. Oh yeah? Yeah man. It's a good fortune. Light that bitch up. Uh, let's see what do we get more of the story? Sometime after the prospectors. The prospectors. Yeah. Until a cave in trapped the men and woke the Oh, and woke the is the new the driven. Yeah. Man. But we gotta watch the whole thing. Gotta stick with it. Can't break the pattern now. After many moons. Until one night, we were not alone in the woods that night. No. I couldn't save your friend. There we go. Alrighty then. Hey man, I don't even want to know how many fucking totems we've missed. Yeah, all of them. Nearly all of them. Yeah. I don't know what's over here. We are not completionists. As we've told you many times. Shit. Except for Mario 64. Oh God, my kid, this is Beth. This is her watch. What? Let me see. Look, there was a cross here. So this is where she was buried. But who dug her up? Let's keep moving. All right, nothing over there. But we found her watch. Yes. Oh, hey, spooky music. All right. Fine. Oh, that seems like an incredibly dumb idea. Oh, come on, it's okay. You sure? Oh, not dead yet. Famous last words. <gasps> oh, this shit. crazy! I can feel my fingers. How can you feel your fingers? I would feel like it would be your toes. Yeah, but she's dumb, so fingers. <laughs> she is a hero, though. She doesn't know that toes have a different word. You know, you know what's what's the word for for the fingers, but you know, lower half. Phalanges. <laughs> uh, numbers eleven through twenty. Yeah. They are piggies. Yes. The little piggy who went to market didn't go to buy anything. He was there to be sold. A little piggy got roast beef. Yeah, man. It's fucked up. Turns out, wasn't a pig at all. 
yeah. was was in fact a cow. Like your mama. I'm just, now, what did you I'm, just I'm say? I'm JK rolling. Yeah, you gotta say that JK stuff. <laughs> you know, JK, your mom's a lovely lady. <laughs> Hello, love. You see that? Yeah. Bodies. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them. Oh. Oh, my God. No! I'm going to be sick. Really, motherfuckers. Now is not the time. You need to cowboy the fuck up and keep moving. Close that door behind you. Oh, yeah. Jump scare time. Oh, it's Judge. No, I don't. I don't take orders from you. I don't take orders from you. You can't, hey, Josh. You can't tell me what to do. You can't Josh? tell me what to do Buddy. anymore. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, okay. Okay. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Okay. Judge. Oh! 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 What's the matter? What's the matter? He's tripping or something. Josh! M M Mike. Josh! Hey, man. Oh, don't, don't hit me, please. please. Well, you would deep in it, man. Full mental jacket. Well, you didn't think <laughs> really? Hey, <let's> really, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> I like that Josh, a lot. Do you have the key for the cable car? Uh, yeah. Here. Oh, God. All right, now you can die. Yeah. Fuck See em. that over there? Please and thank you. That means there's a direct way out. Come on. Full mental jacket. Ooh. It's it's, it's the best. <laughs> there's no way Josh is gonna make it up there. Okay. If you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. You bring Josh back the way we came, and we'll all meet at the lodge. Be careful. Yeah, you too. All right, let's go, you fucked up son of a bitch. <laughs> sometimes I like Mike. Not most times, but sometimes. You didn't, you didn't have to hit me so much, man. Uh, yeah, um, I'm sorry about before, man. I, I thought you killed Jess. I was wrong. Yeah. To be fair, you still kind of had it coming. Yeah, that's true. Never seen it coming. No. 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 Joker is also JK. Rolling. Oh, yeah? Yeah, in the deep by Adele. Oh, that's good to know. Does he set fire to the rain? No. Because I like that song, too. I, I don't know the difference between them because I also want the same. They do not. Oh, I guess. Shut your whore mouth. <laughs> I am a heathen. I know. I know. I know. I just can't listen to a whole, a whole Odell album. Because it's all the same. No, it's. Only the names have changed. It's really hard for me to listen to a full album of uh, just about anything. No, oh, fair enough. Like, I got Vienna Tang and The Warning, and that's about it that I can regularly listen to the full album of. That's my preferred way to listen to music, is with the full album. Nah, I can't do it. And I know so many music purists that are just like, oh, you're a cunt, you're not listening to the way they intended. I'm like, uh, so what? I think that that only really matters for, like, a few albums. Like, um, fucking Abbey Road is best enjoyed that way. <sighs> oh! Holy shit. Yep. No, oh, you're not! For real! No, you're not! Ah! 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 Well then. Uh... Rest, rest in peace, Josh, I guess. I guess we didn't find enough clues or something? Yeah. I think there's I think there's a way to make him not die right there. Oh, hey! Where the fuck you been? 
He's, Jesus. He's been out and about. Yeah. He's been while he's just been climbing through these mines, like Emily ran the fuck through everything, almost got shot, and then went back into them. Yeah. I don't know that I care for like that that little black bar thing. Yeah, that's weird. It's a strange addition. Oh shit! Oh. Ah! Jess, is that you? It makes me Jesus, misplace my thumbs. Jess. So for timed events like that, you? it gets me out of sorts. And I think that's the whole point. Um. Oh. Yeah, I don't know which to do on this one. Tails again. Question. How did you end up down here? Mike and I were, we were messing around, and, and then it, it was. What? I don't, I don't know. I was by the window, and there was all this glass, and it was in the snow, and then it was moving so fast. Fuck. And then I was um just down here. Oh God. Can you move? Yeah. She just wanted oh, a shovel at your head. Alright. Let's see if we can get someone killed in this group. I I think you can. Hopefully. Having having seen that happen. Oh yeah? Yeah. Do I need to go down there? Or oh, I don't it? remember all that. I just remember uh Cry fucked it up. <laughs> oh, okay. Oops. Spooky music time. Let's also fuck it up. Because I don't know which way to go. Just follow the light, man. Yeah, man. Mines, mines are pretty linear, right? Yeah. No way you can get lost in a mine at all. That's what I keep saying. Well, that just makes two of us that are wrong, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just need to have your canary fellas. That's about they'll, something different. They'll show you the way out. That's not quite right. Because mm -hmm. they know the way to the light, because they are in, in, filled with sunlight drops. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's how canaries do. That's... <laughs> Which way? Yeah, she's not okay, dude. No, hide. Alright, come on, Jess. <laughs> it was just a prank hand. This hurt. Oh, All right. All right. Let's get on. We gotta do this. Get out of here. Come on. Oh, Jess. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jess. Oh, Jess. Come on. Get both of them at the same time. Come on. Is that your plan? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> My heart's going that fast. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. You feeling all right there, buddy? Whew. Man, Sam must be like a fucking champion. Yeah, it's Hayden. She, yeah, you're right. She is a hero. Booty, booty, rocking everywhere. Yeah, let's uh, let's do the jump. Emphasis on rock. Oof. What are you 
grabbing stuff. So. Yeah. Come on. Man, in this outfit, this bitch also hyperthermia. I swear to God. Yeah, she'd be dead. She's I'd... got like tight ass leggings. Now she's walking through this fucking forest with the one to go through it without any fucking weapons. Ah, uh, she's shivering. It's okay. Oh, well, all right. That's fine then. I don't know the direction to the place. Looks like there's a black thing. Oh, no, that's just a leaf. Okay. Fuck it. Just keep going this way. Yeah. Well, at least Josh is dead. We managed to kill at least one off. Yeah. By his fucked up sister. Well, to be fair, that's probably how I'm gonna go out. <laughs> there are stories about my sisters, folks. Uh, so yeah. Won't, sh won't share them on the channel, because incriminating yeah. evidence. One, one could say that Bobby's in the witness protection program. <laughs> One could say that. They would be wrong. But you, yes. you know what I mean. Oh, hey. Time for more hypothermia. Hey, remember that time that you went into the water? Like, five minutes ago? Yeah. No, like, this bitch is dead just from that. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's that's the part of the story I have a problem with. Not with the Wendigo. Oh, yeah? Now with the spirits and all that stuff? Spirit of the Wendigo is the spirit of America. Spirit of the red, white, and <laughs> Hey, almost perfect timing. Nice. Good job, senor. The game was just too slow. Yeah, you're gonna lose your legs. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're uh, you're definitely dead. Walking around in those wet ass socks. Looks good though. I mean, good. For I mean, her. yeah, this is great. And she clearly works out. Hayden panty tears you, as you said previously. Yes. <laughs> Hayden panty tears. She'd probably smack me if she was here right now for saying. And that. Bobby would be okay with that. Yeah, ten out of ten. She'd be my new best girl. <laughs> <laughs> if a woman's not willing to smack you, does she really love you? No. Probably. <laughs> Look, I learned all I need to know about affection. From uh, the South, yes, I know. In a kindergarten playground, you know, like 25 years ago, when shit was more acceptable. Oh, yeah? Yeah. When well, girls hit guys, get show that they like it. Morning comes. That should be the fucking theme song of this game. Oh, that'd be a good one. Until the sun comes up. Jesus. Fucking Russian doll ass motherfucker. Okay. I'm back, bitches. Turns out no one got back yet, so hey. she's just locked out. Oh, come on, open up! Guys, come on, are you in there? Let me in! Wendigo opens the door. Sam. What the fuck? Shh. Mike. Oh, gosh. You look terrible. Gonna look worse if we stay out here. Come on. Are you going to just kick it open? Alright. Seems like a bad idea. But, I mean... Hey, I've, I've done worse things. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure if he didn't live, that would have been a Wendigo right there. Oh. Yeah, don't stand near the door. Mike, what happened to Josh? I got him. God, what an awful way to go. Oh, that's fine. Nope. Not good. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike. What do you think we should do? We should check the basement. Might be someone left down there. How do I get to the basement? Go down. This way? <laughs> Sorry, just a... In internal joke. In inside joke between me and Leslie from Source of Screen. Which, she said she'd watch this series, so... Oh, you know, man, I'm, I'm sure she's bored to tears right yeah, now. Yeah, it's, it's great. Hey, Sorry, Leslie. Just follow Mike. I like your channel, and I like you. You're yeah. fine. Yeah, your cosplay is great. Yeah, 
damn, she did a Spider Gwen cosplay. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, it's real good. And I know her boyfriend currently does <laughs> Spider Man cosplay. <laughs> I haven't met the dude. I think he's still her boyfriend. Yes. I don't fucking know. How do you rate her chances of survival? Jesus. What? Yeah, I'm just saying. Fuck you. What? <laughs> he ain't gonna watch us on the shit. Go, go, go! Oh, my God! Run! Fuck Emily, dude. She's slapping that bitch. Oh, shit! Die. Damn it. Uh, get out. Get out. <laughs> I think we're basically at the end here, too. Don't. Move. Don't fucking move a muscle. Including your mouth. and dig it. We must come through fight. Yeet. <laughs> Butane's a pro of the bastard gas. Yeah, you go, Wendigo. You get him. Bam! Okay. Alright, Chris is out. Somehow he got there first, even though being he's he's the gimp. Go for it. Yeah, get him, Wendigo. Fuck yeah. Well, sorry, Mike. Killed Fuck Mike. You. And Ashley. Yes. God and damn Emily. It. But we saved Chris. Good job. I don't think that was the choice you were supposed to make. I miss Emily already. You, uh, you fucked it up. We have visual. The main structure is completely destroyed. Over. So... Hold on. I'm seeing something. It looks like there are survivors. Chris, Sam, oh, Matt, and Jessica. Yeah. Instant inferno. You you done good. Don't scare Jessica to death. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. No. Damn. <laughs> Hate that M died. I don't care for that. Well, you should have saved her then. I should have. Time of death six fifty two. Why you gotta kill best girl? She had it coming. And second best girl. She did not have it coming. I'm sorry. Forgive me. You know, we, we don't like Mike, but real talk, like that guy, oh yeah, and, and Josh, rest in peace. Yeah. Regardless of, of the circumstance, though, he doesn't quite come through this game right. Uh, the old man, I, uh, I, I don't know how to describe him, I mean. You said you thought he was stalking you at first. Did anyone else in your group think that? Well, yeah, <laughs> Is it possible they could have killed him? 
What? No. No, you, you, you don't understand. Don't you understand? And if he attacked you... He saved my life. And I watched him die. Mad. Sounds like a fun right weekend. There, and I could have done something. I tried to do something. I wasn't good enough. Yeah, you weren't good enough. How did you What else could you have done? You were fine, man. Don't worry about it. I was carried and taken and. What did you see? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, girl who does Jessica, I think she did a great job at the end there. After his sister's disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought... I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to... I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience... I said I'm fine. Where's him? Have you found him? Yes, we have. What? Where? Where is she? Sir. I need to talk to her. She was in the lodge. What do you what do you mean? What do you mean she was in the lodge? In the fire. We recovered her body. No, no. No. I'm just as sad as you are, man. Oh god. Oh, fuck no! Just a sound. Frank. What do you remember? He came for me. He did. Came for you? Where is he? Did he make it? It was my fault Mike died. And everybody else. I wasn't supposed to move. No, it wasn't right. But I did. And he saved me. That's not quite what so happened. So it's my fault that he died. Yeah. You just kind of blew him the fuck up. Yeah. You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. No. So, uh, regardless, Josh doesn't quite come through this okay. Oh yeah? He, uh, he will die, like, like he did, or if he, if he was shown the clue with the, with the butterfly thing, he'll say Hannah's name, and she'll just drag him away alive, and at the end of the game, he becomes a Wendigo himself. So, okay. either way, he's not gonna really make it. But everybody else can survive the game. If, I if you gone, hadn't murdered them all. If I would have gone to save Mike. Mike, and then you have to go save Emily and then Ashley and whatever. That sounds like a lot of work. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. So you know what? Boom. There we go. And I'm sad to M died, but right on time for episode link. So, yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the game? It's interesting. I probably wouldn't have played it by myself. Mm -hmm. Probably wouldn't too spooky i understand no it wasn't that spooky. you were very scared yeah the entire time sure super spooked you were um, i love i love when jump scares happen and you just laugh you're like ah, ha, 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 ha. you turn your screeches into laughs just to, to jape us all into thinking that you were not scared but i know i heard your heartbeat going <laughs> and i was like holy shitty dicks and so i i take the blame okay Sure, okay. It's a good time. Anyways, <laughs> other than the bullshit he just said, uh, I thought a lot of the animation and motion capture with the actors was incredibly good. Mm -hmm. I liked it a lot, especially for a few years ago. It's just too bad it peaked at 30 frames per second. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, it got kind of off the walls with the actual Wendigo thing. It certainly made it intense, though. Like, I'll be real with you. Uh, Very intense. They should have Scooby Doo bit, man. You know, not some evil spirit on the mountain, but just old man Jenkins. Yeah. Right? Old, old man flamethrower. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he dresses been. up as a Wendigo and jumps around the, the ceilings and shit. Yeah. 
Because up until that point, we hadn't really seen a Wendigo, just like a few flashes. It could have been explained away mm-hmm. as something like... Like what Josh was doing with the special effects and like the... Right. And you're like, oh yeah, those miners, they never left the mountain. They just became kind of like stir-crazy and mountain folk and inbred and shit. And then they killed the fuck out of people. Yeah. Very See, rude. Rather than actually going full Wendigo on us, which I, I don't care for that. Yeah, I, I kind of dig it. I like the idea of it having been Hannah that was kind of getting her revenge on everybody throughout the whole game. Yeah, that's fine, except for like the six other Wendigos that we discovered. Yeah, I don't like the, the, the scruffy Wendigo so yeah. much. But, yeah. Josh being absolutely fuck nuts crazy was good. I would have liked to have seen more of that. Yeah, that, that could have been better. Yeah. Overall, though, uh, the environment is what sold it. Mm-hmm. You had a lot of the creepy environments, the lights, the way it made you sort of move through the environment. It limited a lot of your actions, I think, a bit too much. Mm-hmm. So I, I think it could have expanded on that a bit more. Yeah. But they might have been hindered by like budget and things like that. So I'm not going to subtract points for it against that. It's just something I'd like to see. Right. Uh, yeah. And the sound effects were awesome. Yes. That is very true. Hot damn whoever did that sound editing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, out of 10? For what it is, uh, solid 8, man. Yeah, okay. I was going to give it like a 7.5, but we can round it up to 8. I'm fine with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, for for what it is, it's it's pretty good. It like I don't really play horror games, but I'm not sad to have experienced this game. Yeah, uh, I think it made an interesting thing for the channel. Yeah. Uh, you saw how divisive it was. Just so we're clear, though... Emily is my kind of girl. I'm not joking about he, that. He is not. He he likes <laughs> he likes a bitch. <laughs> yeah, and I suppose Ashley would be your kind of girl. Yeah. So that that's genuine, just hundred percent real with you guys. Red hair didn't hurt. Eh, she did, she wasn't full ginger. So I'm okay with that. Nah, you gotta go full ginge. That's that's that good shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. You never go full ginge. Always go full ginge. Yeah. Gingerbread. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the full ginch. <laughs> but overall, I, I enjoy doing it for the channel. I wouldn't play it by myself just because it didn't affect me all of that much. You got the few jump scares that made me kind of like jump laugh. Yeah. That kind of weird shit that I, I like do. His, his quote unquote jump laughs, yes. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, it was just like, and we're walking. Can I kill these kids yet? Okay. For the most part... If I were to replay it, the only thing that I would change with my actions would be to go for Mike to see that ending and try and save them. Mm-hmm. But we pretty much got to the end by accident with nearly everybody living, and yeah. I just made a wrong choice at the end. Yeah. So, I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. It mostly led you to the right choices. I'll probably look up some of the other endings and YouTube that for what other people have done. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's good stuff. 8 out of 10. Largely because of the sound effects. Yeah. So let's do some shoutouts. Okay. Uh, I'll go first. Speaking of the sound effects, I'm going to do a shout out to the sound team. Uh, Jason Graves and Barney Pratt. Jason Graves uh, is the guy who did the score nice. of the game. And uh, Barney Pratt is the guy who did like the, the sound effects and things like that kind of stuff. Obviously, there's probably more than just those two. Right. You right. got like the special editors team but and all that. Those, stuff are, the, all those are the guys that are like interviewed about the sounds and stuff for this okay. game. So I, I'm not sure what else they've done. But hot damn if they didn't do a fucking incredible job with this game. Yeah, man. Like, those guys very much deserve a shout-out here. I, and so much so that I changed another one that I was going to do to do a shout-out to them. Absolutely. I mean, if we ever were to design a game, which, no, that's never going to happen. No. We're not that productive. Uh, definitely them for yeah. sound design. God damn. Mm-hmm. They knocked it out of the park. 10 out of 10 for sound on this game. Yeah, they know how to do spoopy sound. Yeah. It was really, really good. It, it's what really sucked me in and kept me playing, and I just went, ah, oh, fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my shout-out is going to be a bit of an odd one. A very odd one. I still don't quite understand. The stars in Mario Odyssey. He really and, means moons. Uh, no, I do not. I guess he does not. Because Kyle Hill on Because Science okay. did an episode very recently where it's like a the live thing but he always does a section in the beginning where he just talks about a random thing that he likes and he was talking about the stars in mario odyssey okay. because that one world specifically there's a certain mass that a star has to be in order to still be a star so he figured that out 
because we've known that for a while. And then using Mario's size in that game, where he's about 3'6 or whatever, mm -hmm. even if the official thing says, oh, he's like 5'2 or 5'8. No, he fucking is not in that game. So... He's you, not 5'8", no. He's, he's really short. No, but there's like a statue somewhere that says he's 5-something yeah. and all that stuff. And no. But using that game where he's 3-something, he figured out the size of the star, figured out the density that have to be inside of that to have that mass to still be a star, and there's an uh, equation... The Schwarzschild? There's a name. Schwarzschild, right? Something like that. I'm not going to pronounce it right. He didn't pronounce it right. And I apologize to every single person that does know how to pronounce it right. Because I just fucked it up severely. Uh, towards the radius of how dense something can be. And you can figure out when it would make a black hole. Okay. And that thing would definitely make a black hole. <laughs> 100% super black hole. Which means Mario would get spaghettified, which is the most Italian thing that could happen. And I love it so damn much. The stars of Mario Odyssey, most Italian thing. So the, the stars specifically from the ones in the Mushroom Kingdom then? Yeah. Okay. Top notch. I love it when he does that shit. And I like that the stars would actually be black holes that make things spaghetti. Yes. Okay. You're weird. No, that's actually the effect when you cross the event horizon with black hole and you get like sucked into it. Yeah, you go back in time and see through your, your daughter's bookshelf. Fucking no, because oh. that's the dumb bit of the movie. Oh. Uh, <laughs> fucking hate that bit of the movie. I actually just don't like that movie in general. Yeah, it's kind of boring. Yeah, Interstellar, go fuck yourself. Even if the science behind it is unique. Uh, but yeah, when you get across the event of a the event horizon of a black hole and you get sucked into it and you become like long strings of noodles going into the core... You become spaghettified. That is the actual scientific term for that. Interesting. No shit. I love it so much. Hmm. It makes it so... And this guy on the screen right now. Peter Stormare. Creepy ass motherfucker. Yeah. Fuck you and your clown, my good sir. Yeah. Do not like you. Great actor. He said actor. that and he, he frowns. Great actor. Love you 100%. Yeah. But in this game, get bent, my love good you. sir. Love you in American Gods, good sir. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> But yeah, all right, guys. Uh, that's it for until dawn. Um, yeah, so not too bad. At the twelve episodes, fair enough. Yeah, short game. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Yes. Uh, maybe go pick it up yourself. Try different things. See if you can kill off it's, some of those it's kids. Pretty faster. cheap these days, so you could probably get it in and, and, and have a good time with well, it. How much did we pick it up for? Like five bucks? I, I think. I think we picked it up with like a buy two get one free sale too. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So, not too bad. But yeah, alright guys, we'll see you next time uh, with our new game. What? what okay, Asago Academy? It might have been that one, yeah. We That's going to be around, weird. So we moved some stuff around, so I think it's Asago Academy. If you tune in next week, and I'm lying to you, sorry. Yeah, I think it's Asago Academy, and it's going to be real strange for us, so we'll see how that goes. It's going to be great. I'm going to figure out who I'm going to fuck. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, alright guys, we'll see you then. Thanks so much guys, bye. bye. Talk about a 180 with games. <laughs>